He's taking his bus. He's gonna fight up to the idiotas. Santa Claus comes to town. Oh yeah, Santa Claus comes to town. Santa Claus coming to town. Lord, why did you have to take my husband away from me on Christmas? 
We were supposed to have our heaven ever after. Lord, Noel, why did you leave me? I just can't deal with this. Hey, boo. Oh, Lord, look what the wind blew in. You know you missed me. Where's my Christmas gift at? Look, gone. I ain't got time for that. Girl, you still look a mess. What's going on, Tasha? Look, I ain't seen you in over a year. Don't come in here getting on my nerves. Whatever happened to my beautiful daughter, sister? Look, don't worry about what I look like. I'm not more than you, am I? Well, as a matter of fact, you are. You know Noel will want this for you. You know God will want this for you. You just give people hope by encouraging them, helping them to realize they have something to live for. Now you seem so like it. You need to pick yourself up. Look, don't bring my husband into this. I'm so sick of every time I turn around, everybody's telling me what Noel used to do. Well, newsflash, Noel is dead. And now that he's gone, don't come in here telling me how I'm supposed to feel because you still have your husband and mine is gone. Seriously, Tasha, I'm not trying to tell you how to feel, but you need to realize people so for me and walk for life have looked up to you. You never know who might just walk up in here. Realize you had a power to change life. Use your pain to do so if you have to, but you can't go on living like this. What else, Sasha? Plus, every time I come back home, the family's asking how you're doing. They're really worried about you. The family ain't worried about me. They just want to be nosy and have something to talk about. Sis, I know you have been going through, I know you've been having a hard time, but you don't have to go through this long. If you ever need someone to talk to, I'm here. Mm -hmm. All right, we go hear some of these after holiday sales because you are way over this part of your wardrobe. My brother, I'll roll over his grave and see you in this color purple attire. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, Sasha. Girl, bye. Well, I guess I'm going to hear some of these, um, sing on some of these Christmas carols or something. I always knew that girl was crazy. Silent Yeah. 
God bless you, woman. Get on my nerves. I'm so sick of these people coming in here. My sister's coming in. We can sing her and I don't know how long. Here she comes. Hey, where the kids at? Hey, y'all, come on, let's go, let's go. Come on. Jingle bells, jingle all the way. Roll up on it to ride in one heart. Don't finish that. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle bells. Now you know it's always from the smile about, right? I have no joy anymore. I have no reason to smile. Hey, what happened to you? You used to be so good and spiritual. Your husband used to be so kind and stuff like that. He was a spiritual man. <laughs> Guess what? I, I remember he used to tell us, you know what I'm saying? Be in the spirit and he loved Christmas. He Look, had, don't bring my Christmas husband spirit. up. Don't mention my husband to me. You well, keep I, my husband's name out your mouth. Hey, because of your husband, he was such a, a kind man. And because of your husband and you, my family know the true meaning of Christmas now. That was him. That wasn't me. Oh, come on, Tasha. Now, look, I know you're going through a lot right now, but just know that we're your family. We're here for you. I know this is a hard time and it brings up hard memories, but we'll always be there for you, okay? You know what? Get out. Just, just get out with them ugly Christmas t-shirts out. And get that one some help. I mean, I whoop other people's kids. Coming here with a bad disrespect, my kids. Get out here! Them little ugly shirts on. Y'all see that man? Hold it now, wait, hold it. That's playing out. Hit it! Don't come visit me telling me how I used 
to love Christmas. What if they don't understand? I don't celebrate Christmas anymore.
with your desk when they walk in your door? Look, I ain't got time for that, that mess that just left here. If you see everything, I know you saw it. Maybe I was about to <laughs> You know what I do see? It's a whole bunch of folks sitting out there in your front yard. And half of them still laughing. <laughs> Look, what do you want? Well, first, uh, before I get to where I'm supposed to be going, I just want to ask you, why you still got the same clothes from the first thing? <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. Don't come in here bothering me. What do you want? And who are you anyway? I'm, I'm the present, baby. I'm the present. You know, I... Ain't no gift I want to unwrap. <laughs> now, I know you met my twin, the past, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he showed up. Handsome looking fella, too. I think he married, but anyhow. But uh, <laughs> I just came to tell you, you know, I've been seeing how you've been just treating these folks. That street walker was left out of here. The child, don't mention that fact. Boy, that dress was so tight that she called you dead. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh, y'all just, Lord, have mercy. But then, you know, was, but I know Noel told you that when he went on, before you went on with the Lord, that what your purpose was. And Look, now you just up here just. I don't have a Aggravated baby elbow. Just, not just messy, Martha, frustrated, frenzy, <laughs> agony, Nancy. Why you don't? Crazy Corita. <laughs> <laughs> Look, what do you want? What is your purpose? I just want to tell you, baby, just smile. You know how to smile every night. I ain't got no reason to. Show all five of your teeth. <laughs> My joy is gone. I don't celebrate Christmas anymore. I have no reason to smile. Yeah, you do. At least you got all your teeth. Smile. All five of how many are you supposed to have? No. <laughs> Let me see your smile. No. Just smile one time. No. Smile. Oh. I gotta get this song too. Look, Kurt Sage. Look at that. I gotta do the smile. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you got it. Oh, 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 oh,
So she told me she just been evicted from her apartment and just three months ago, she lost her husband to a heart attack. Mm -hmm. Sounds familiar? And she has no place to go. Now you could have ministered to her, but instead you wallowed in your own self-pity from three years ago. Oh, and not to mention that little street walker. Oh, now you know you could have blessed her life. You, know? you could have told her about the salvation of the Lord and how he can fix, change, and heal. Yes. Well, how am I supposed to help someone when I can't even help myself? Didn't I just tell you your lady Tonya Hoyt went from Cain to conquer? Pain, power, and purpose? Baby, you got to learn to speak life into it. Everything you go to, baby, is not the end. Seek God, and he will see you through. My Bible tells me to speak those things that be not as though they were. Yes. Speak life into it, baby. Amen. Sometimes you got to encourage yourself. Yeah. Yeah. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Baby, he loves you. Now, Noel wouldn't want you sitting up here looking all raggedy and wrinkled up like this. <laughs> Seek God, baby. He'll see you through. Now, I love you, and you have a Merry Christmas. God, I don't know. They always tell me that everyone should be happy. And he always told me to keep the love of the people in my heart. But how can I smile when my smile when my smile is six feet under? And Christmas will never be the same again. We provided a place of comfort for those who need it and a piece of resolution for those who came to retreat. And now, three years later, my pain is no different because this end was his life and it became the death of him. So how am I supposed to have this Christmas holiday cheer when mine left with him? <sighs> Sometimes 
we need that because sometimes we get beside ourselves. Listen, you got all this going on around you. And why are you so miserable? What's going on? What happened? I, I just can't deal with it. Deal with what? I, I, I don't do Christmas. Christmas used to be a time that I loved, and now it became the most depressing time of my life. Even when the sun shines, I'm drenched. I, I can't do it. Because you focused on Christmas, but take the MAS off and just focus on Christ. I know that's right. Because that should excite you alone. Don't worry about the must. That'll come later. But just worry about the Christ. Look, I was driving in my Holy Ghost Navigator. <laughs> and I heard on the radio, I tuned in a New Destiny Fellowship Church on the channel that's gone worldwide. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I heard my bishop, he allowed some ministers to speak, and they're doing this series trying to finish strong. Mm. And I think somewhere in the race, you got off the track. Wow. Just because your first lap don't feel like your second lap, you ought to rejoice that you made a lap. Yeah. 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 But you, you, you think you suck. And so I heard Elder Rayford preach a sermon titled, Who Am I? And I just want you to look at this imaginary mirror because you searching for a testimony when you are the testimony. Yes. So many folk have walked in here looking for help, but because your situation is sour, then this is what, this is what we do. We would turn them away. But can I just tell you that that's the perfect place for God to be who he is. Yes. The perfect place. Listen, God loves you. If you didn't have this hotel, you'd be still on your knees asking God to give it to you. Yes. Uh -huh. But now that you got it, you forgot who provided. It wasn't yes. no hell. Mm. But, but here, let me bring this thing home with me. Stay with me just for a second. <laughs> Sometimes God has to remove those things that we place in because... We would allow that to become our God That's instead it. of Him. Yes. yes. You had so much trust in Noel that you forgot about God. God. Mm. And if you continue to put your trust in your hotel mm. instead of God, mm -hmm. Noel will be the only thing that you lose in this season. Yes. Amen. You got it? I got it. Look. I'm just grateful that joy shows up in the morning. Yes. 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 Regardless of what's going on in your life. Yeah, I know this is Christmas season. But sweetheart, you got a gift that God is trying to give you. But because your life is in shackles, you have yet you missed the ball. I heard my bishop say, he used a scenario which was so wonderful. And just because you got a bowl missing out the bowl, at least just be grateful that you got a bowl. Because what you missed the first time, God ain't like people. They'll kick the ball and want you to go fetch it. God will take the ball and place it where that word belongs. Yeah. So be grateful. I know what your situation looks like. But be grateful. Because there's a lot of people that wish they were still here to even have a situation. Yes, yes, yes. You blessed and can't see you blessed. And there's a reason you're going through everything you're going through. Because there's people connected to you that need to know who you know and what you got. Those are the same folk. Just because they're at the bottom. Somebody holding you up at night. Mm. Amen. I almost got excited right there. Mm -hmm. But I got to go my friend. Remember, the best is yet to come. Come on, just bump with it one time. Come on, come on, bump with it one time. You gotta come this way. And I come that way.
Okay, it's gotta be something they can do.
want everybody to help us. Well, Emmanuel. 